Hello my friends, today we have something rather special. This is a Biatek Corsair 01 made by young company Biatek based in city of Zvolen in Slovakia. And I also live in Slovakia, so I'm really glad that I can make a review of this watch. And as far as I know, this is the first video review of Biatek watch. So uh, let me start with a few words about this company. So this company was founded in 2016 by Mr. Peter Kožar, who is also uh, owner of an uh, online watch store. And uh, I remember that he wanted to make a limited edition watch that was supposed to look like this Corsair series, but it didn't work out. So he decided to make the watch on his own. And this is the result. By the way, the company or the brand is named after a Biatek coin, which was used by Celts uh, in first century before Christ in the area of Bratislava, which is the capital of Slovakia. And now let's take a look at this watch. Uh, this is a pilot style watch and the main features that make this watch a pilot watch are large uh, vintage looking hands filled with the uh, superluminova and they ensure gray eligibility in all lighting conditions. Uh, then there is dark dial providing the contrast and uh, a typical conic crown. Uh, case of this watch is 40 millimeter wide and 13 millimeter thick. Lug to lug size is 48 millimeters and the lug width is 20 millimeters. This is, in my opinion, a good all-round size. It works very well for me. Now, some people want it to be a bit bigger, but it has nice presence on the wrist. Now, there is very thin bezel, and this size is also manageable with smaller wrist sizes. This case is made of 316L stainless steel. Sides are brushed, uh, top parts are polished, and uh, bezel as well. I think that finishing is really nice. I haven't found any flaws. Uh, the crown is fully made in Slovakia and is definitely one of the highlights of this watch. As you can see, it is very well machined and uh, I believe that it also has to be done by a very skilled worker. It is signed with the company's logo and I was surprised that this is a screw down crown, which is not common on pilot watches, but I really like that because this watch is 100 meters water resistant and with some steel bracelet you could uh, also take it for a swim and that makes this watch more capable all around. Dial on this particular model, uh, Corsair 01 is lacquered. Uh, if you watch some of my videos with Amiga Seamaster 300M, then you know that I absolutely adore lacquer dials, especially with double anti-reflective coating. Uh, these lacquer dials, when they are done right, they make beautiful color changing effect in sunlight where the color changes from uh, very dark gray to dark blue, and this one really is done right. Uh, then there are vintage inspired hands filled with a really strong uh, blue luminova applied over indices with font that matches the hands nicely in my opinion. And so-called railway track around the dial uh, marking the minutes. And there is some space between the crystal and the dial which amplifies the 3D effect of uh, hands and indices. Uh, this is the version with small seconds and at 9 o'clock. Uh, there will also be a central seconds version later on. I do like it with small seconds. It matches the overall vintage vibe in my opinion. Uh, whole Corsair series is no date at the moment. Uh, and that is always a compromise between aesthetics and uh, practicality. I would like to see a version with a date, but I wouldn't mind uh, having one no date watch in my collection. Um, the crystal is a fire, of course, with a double anti-reflective coating, as I said earlier. And on the bottom side, there is a transparent case back, which brings us to the movement inside of this watch. The movement is Swiss made Eterna uh, 3901A, 4 Hz, 29 joules, single barrel with a 65 to 70 hour power reserve. And the movement is definitely another highlight of this watch uh, because they wanted something more special than your usual uh, ETA or Solida. And uh, with the quality issues with Soprod A10, uh, this Eterna movement really is one of very few options available to independent watchmakers if they want to go about ETA 2824 or Solida 200. The finishing on this movement is very nice. There is a lot of perlage. Nice ruby in the balance wheel uh, and then there is a custom rotor with the propellers that reminds us of F4U Corsair 
fighter aircraft used mainly in uh, the Second World War uh that this watch is named after uh, this movement has really nice winding feel uh, with clicky sound and nice amount of tension so overall it thumbs up for using this movement um, so far i wasn't able to test the accuracy but uh, i will test it later if there will be an opportunity this watch comes on a leather strap it is handmade uh, leather is in general my least favorite material for a watch strap but i have to say that it looks good it is uh, well made uh, high quality the clasp is nice as well signed with a company logo but i would definitely like to see a bracelet for this watch in future i think that um, it will be possible to buy it on a stape or stipe uh, mesh bracelet but i would like to see uh, the stock bracelet as well to sum up, as you can probably tell, I do like this watch a lot and to be honest, I actually wanted to buy this particular piece, but it was not possible since uh, it is still a prototype. Uh, actually, this is the fifth one made and they need it for marketing purposes, but I may get one later on. So what I like about this watch, I like the size, the locker dial, overall styling, the crown, of course, uh, I approve of movement choice as well. Legibility is great, also the finishing, uh, so basically all of the main points. Maybe some minor things that I would change are um, that even though I like the custom rotor, maybe it covers up a bit too much of that beautifully finished movement. I'm also not a fan of bolstering in the upper part of the strip. In my opinion, it decreases wearing comfort a bit, but some really expensive brands uh, make it like this. So I guess that is just my personal preference. And I also miss the bracelet option. Other than that, I haven't found any flaws. The price for this watch is 1,380 euros, but now we can get it uh, by pre-order with 20% discount. So it will be around 1,100 euros. And I think that is really good price for this watch and it is really obvious that this is a well prepared concept made by real watch enthusiasts without compromises and I really respect uh, Biatech company and Mr. Kojar for uh, pulling this off in this country because the environment for entrepreneurship is really not good in this country. Uh, the socialist government really makes it hard to establish a new business here. So I'm really glad to see this happen and I wish all the best to Biatech. So big thanks to Mr. Kojar for sending uh, this watch to me for review. I really appreciate it and thank you for watching this video. I hope that you like it. If you did, please consider subscribing to this channel for more videos like this. And I always appreciate your feedback in form of thumbs up or thumbs down. If you would like to ask anything or share your opinion, please do so in the comment section and see you next time.